Okay, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the NZXT Hue Plus and installing my CPU cooler, which I got back from RMA. If you remember a couple of videos back, I was installing the uninstalling this bad boy because it broke. Anyway, let's get into it. Actually, I'm not super sure where I should put this Hue Plus, and there goes my dog. Because both my SSD things are full. This is my OS drive, and this I got recently in a uh, Black Friday sale. I got it, put games on it. Um, yeah. Hey, this one's 480. This one's 250. Okay, anyway. Let's unbox this bad boy. Ooh, haha. -ha. Okay, right. I may have, like, ruined the surprise and already opened it. It's very hard with one hand. Okay. So here's the Hue Plus itself, very tiny thing, but the size of an SSD. Typically goes in one of the SSD mounts, but I'm probably going to put it in one of the hard drive trays because both my SSD mounts are full. Although it does light up, maybe I should move this guy, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, now in this box we have instructions, not important, we have cables, probably important, that's about it. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this SSD out. It's kind of dark. I'm going to take this SSD out, put it in a hard drive bay back here. You can't really see it, but a hard drive bay back there. Then put this where the SSD is right now. Oh, and something kind of scary is my desk is so wobbly that my like PC wobbles up and down. Look at that. Like moves a good amount too, it's kind of Okay, bad news time. Bad news is I need an internal USB header for this, right? It's for the Hue Plus. Now that's not bad on its own because there's one right there. But I also need one for my CPU cooler. <sighs> so it's an issue of now I need a hub to get another internal USB port because my motherboard only has two. And the other one is connected to the front panel ports. So yes, unfortunately, I need more internal USB ports, basically. Uh, what I'm probably going to do for the time being is just disable my front panel ports up here until I get an adapter. That way I can still use my cooler, my Hue Plus, I'll be all good. I won't have front panel ports, um, which will be kind of a drag, but whatever. I will get that sorted out in the future, but for now, we'll just have this bad boy. Oh hey look, it lit up! So anyway, these light strips are magnetic, so they just stick. Um, they also have a sticky tape, which I'm not going to take off because they're magnetic, and that is a little more convenient for moving them around and stuff. Um, but we got the two cables in the Hue Plus, now I need to work out the cabling to power the light strips. I have no idea what to do about the orientation of lights, I've never done anything like this before, so I have one at the bottom, one at the top, one on the side. I feel like that should be good. I just don't know what I'm doing, so let's hope for the best. And here we go. It is done. Now there are lots of things you do, can do. I think I'm probably going to have a separate video going over the NZXT cam software and all the crazy stuff you can do with the Hue Plus. But there are some awesome things. So we got the Hue Plus in. Next thing we have to do is we have to put the CPU cooler in. And yeah, I think that is basically it yeah look there's like stuff like this you can do with the the hue let's make it a little faster you know stuff like that it's so cool anyway let's install the cooler now here it is the h100i itself so basically if you don't know a while back my h100i died the pump died so i brought it in r made it and it's like they were like you can just have a new one Brand new fresh one. So I have a brand new H100i to install. I'm going to install it in the top mounts again, empty top mounts, which is harder to do, but it kind of, I feel like it's the better spot to put it. We're going to take this 212 Evo out. We're going to put it back in the box. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it now. Uh, either sell it or maybe next friend I help build his PC or her PC, I will just put it in there. Not too sure. The 212 Evo is out, now we need to take off the front bit and the top bit so we can get the radiator in. Now PC is about as naked as it gets, we need to put the 
um, the cooler this bad boy in, and then we'll put the parts back on. Radiator is in. Now all I need to do is get this this guy situated above the the gorgeous i7, and then we should be uh, golden. And here we are. We are back to life with the uh, water cooler. Um, I think that is basically it. We need to put the front panel, top panel, side panel, side panel on, and then clean up that disaster we got from working on the PC. And it looks like we are all done. So I hope you enjoyed this bit of a shorter video. Let us know down in the comments if you want to see the um, overview of the NZXT software and a tutorial on how to configure the lights and stuff. Uh, but yes, that is all for today. Hope you did enjoy. Please sure leave a like if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't, but you should leave a like. Um, and subscribe for more videos kind of like this. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.